Hello everyone. Today we're going to discuss an important topic. We're going to discuss the 10 things that you should never do before and when applying for a mortgage loan. So let's get right into it. The first thing is racking up new debt. You want to put yourself in the best possible light to the mortgage bank that you're applying with. So you don't want to go out before or during applying for a mortgage loan and start accumulating new debt and new monthly payments that will go against your debt to income ratio. So just don't do it. Um, the best thing that you can do is any debt that you have out there, as long as it's not going to infringe on your down payment or your amount that you need to bring to cover your closing costs, you want to pay it off in order to put your credit score and credit history in the best possible light. So the first thing is racking up new debt. The second thing is not checking your credit score. You want to know what your credit score is before you apply for a mortgage loan, whether it's good or it's not so good. If it's not so good, you want to speak to someone, possibly your loan officer, on the things that you can do in order to improve your credit score. This way, when you speak to a loan officer, you won't be blindsided by what they tell you your credit score is. What's the third thing? Falling behind on bills. When you're applying for a mortgage loan, they're going to check your credit and they're going to see how you pay things like car loans, revolving debt, installment debt, and so on. The last thing that you want to be surprised with or you want to surprise them with is that them seeing that you're late on some of your bills in that calendar month. So the best thing you can do is make sure that your bills are paid on time. The fourth thing is maxing out your credit cards. You actually, believe it or not, get punished if the balance on your credit cards is more than 30% of the available credit limit. So if they give you a $10,000 limit, if your balance at any given point is over $3,000, your credit score will be punished. So what you wanna do is not max out your credit card bills, when or before you're applying for a mortgage loan. The fifth thing is closing your credit cards. Believe it or not, when you close your credit cards, it actually, the system or the credit scoring model actually punishes you by decreasing your credit score when you close your credit cards. So if you don't wanna use a credit card, it's no problem. Just throw it in the safe or throw it in a drawer that's safe and don't use it. Because if you close it, you could be closing one of your older trade lines and you'll be punished by getting a lower credit score. The sixth thing is switching jobs. When you're applying for a mortgage loan, you wanna show that your income is stable and predictable. So the best thing that you can do is stay put, specifically if there's no urgent need in order to switch that job. Of course, if things are out of your control and you need to switch, then you have to do what you have to do. The next thing or the seventh thing is making a major purchase, a boat, a car, or anything else of that sort. Um, you wanna make sure that you're not applying for these high ticket items when you're applying for a mortgage loan. After you get your house or after you get your refinance, if you wanna purchase something, then by all means, please do what you have to do. The eighth thing is a little bit of a controversial subject and it's marrying someone who doesn't have good credit. Of course, we all know love is love, but if you have perfect credit, and your significant other does not have perfect credit, then the bank or mortgage company that you use is going to use the lower score of both of you in order to qualify for the interest rate and the program. So if your spouse or significant other does not have good credit and you have great credit, your great credit doesn't really count into the transaction. So at least if you are married to someone who doesn't have perfect credit, the best thing that you can do is do whatever you can to get their credit score up. The ninth thing is co-signing on a loan. And when you're applying for a mortgage loan, you don't wanna go and co-sign for any new debt, whether it's a student loan, a car loan, a house, or anything else. You want your credit to be in the best possible shape so you can qualify for the best possible loan in interest rate. And the last thing, the 10th thing on the list, is making a large deposit. Banks typically look back 60 days on your statements to see any large deposits. So you don't want to start putting in any cash deposits or anything else like that into your bank account right before you're applying for a mortgage loan, unless you can source exactly where it's coming from. Um, I guess this covers our big list of the 10 things that you shouldn't do before you apply or during applying for a mortgage loan. And as always, if you have any questions, comments, complaints, or compliments, please leave them in the section below. Thank you for watching.